Good morning, everyone. Good evening. Time for the good morning now. Daily Sunday to Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And for the purpose of good fellowship, the best day channel is the most normal life of the amateur operator. Check-ins will be mobile and first, and then we'll go to short time, and then we'll go to echo with the cockpit. And finally, the DHF station. So, three different calls. And we'll need to follow and send it to them. If it's a check-in, please wait. I will do additional calls. The computer will be let us down completely to ensure you can get your goal to the and turn. First off, any emergency or priority announcements, please call W9. This is Kilo Alpha Niner, Whiskey Alpha Romeo. K9 DXG. I'm going to be on short time, so just in and out. W9 OBB. Alpha Bravo 9, November, November.
they had uh, drums, which are now being called prunes, I think. I think there was some furor about calling uh, calling anything prunes with a negative connotation, and for some reason, maybe I got the story backwards, but there's some confusion about calling prunes prunes any longer. Can anybody uh, back me up on that? Our, our, our food commissars? I, uh, speaking of racers. All right, so much for that. There's, there's no waffling. Let's turn it over to uh, 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 Michelle, and, um, who should have been first, but unfortunately, K9GU is on now. Go ahead, Michelle, your turn.
And uh, yes, I, uh, my, my uh, son-in-law's father and I went to the EAA Museum and really, really had a nice time. Uh, very, very good. The exhibits there are, are absolutely superb, and uh, we learned a lot of stuff. And uh, of course, uh, Hans, being a uh, retired uh, military colonel from Germany, uh, took a great interest in um, all of the things that he was seeing, and uh, he was very surprised to see a Messerschmitt that's hanging from the ceiling. And um, that was a really good time that we had there. We enjoyed there. We were there, um, I think, for two, two and a half hours, close to three hours. So uh, we had a really great time and um, discussed many, many different things. So he was very glad that uh, I took him over to the EAA. And um, go to the EAA and you're over 62, then you get in for only $13. So uh, I paid for Hans's way in, and um, that was really great. We're talking about uh, next fall, maybe Sue and I will... Um, take a trip over to uh, Wurzburg, Germany, and uh, spend some time with um, him and his wife, Berlinda, so we had a wonderful time, and uh, around noon today, I think my son-in-law is uh, going to head down to uh, take him back to uh, uh, O'Hare uh, Airport in Chicago, and they'll be flying back to Frankfurt, and from there, it's uh, not too far over to Wurzburg, Germany. All in all, it was a, it was a good time, and it, and it made up for the fact that uh, I was sick and unable to go to uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So uh, that that worked out pretty uh, pretty darn nice. So uh, that's the story on that. And uh, thank you for asking, Hardy. And uh, 25 degrees here in Green Bay, so I think it's supposed to get above freezing today, or close to 40. 40 is close to it. And um, well, I don't know. There are some things I could do outside, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to them or not. I'm uh, right in the middle of a couple of projects here, and uh, we were up quite late. Uh, let's see, what was it? Thursday night? Yeah, the day we went to the museum. And uh, so I slept in yesterday morning and missed the net completely, so I don't like to do that, but uh, on occasion, that's what happens when you're retired. So with that, I'll pass it over to my friend John, AB9NNW9OBB. Good morning to all and Bruce. Thanks for picking up the message. Hi, good morning to everybody on the Good Morning Net from John, AB9NN, in Missoula, uh, Michigan, Northwest Florida, Michigan. It's very proud to talk to Mount Coleman, nine miles inland. And uh, yeah, at the date on the repeater this morning, everybody is sounding loud and proud. And the uh, solar point index is down to 162. That means it's down a little bit. Uh, 20 meters was uh, active on uh, 20 meter mobile yesterday, although we've been getting some uh, solar bombardments and have been uh, getting uh, pictures posted of northern lights in the area. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, currently 33.7 degrees with the north wind and uh, says it's uh, zero miles an hour. And um, uh, no precipitation to speak of, except for just a little smidgen of rain out by uh, Detroit, it looks like. Uh, but nothing in uh, the rest of the lower peninsula or across the UP. And um, it looks like we're in for a decent day today. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're supposed to be getting some uh, rain and snow um, during the day, so we'll see what happens with that. So, have to go to church and then we have an event I think that we're going to uh, later in the evening as well so we'll see what's up with that. Um, let's see, not much else going on. I'm trying to tweak my uh, APRS ID. It's not receiving as well as it should be. And uh, so I'm going to have to go and look at the uh, receive amplifier on the uh, Tiny Tracker 4 and uh, see if that needs to be bumped up a little bit. And, uh, See if that's maybe the setting that's uh, uh, upsetting it a little bit. So that's my rabbit hole for today. Uh, not much else going on, just uh, processing a few pictures as I'm listening to the net. Um, so it's over to uh, KC9 TMA from 89 and then John and Bueller. Good morning, everyone.
curiosity then of uh, your son, uh, son-in-law's father. So military his whole career, how old is he, comma, roughly, and when was he born, roughly, and so after the war in Germany, then what is it like to become an officer, you know, after what was quite an eventful course of history. Uh, Jeff and I watched a movie last night, fictionalized, but probably sort of true about the resistance and in World War II, some uh, brave people hiding all day and doing radio transmissions at night. And what it does for me is help me decide, would I have the courage to be a resistor when it was an, a regime like that? It's very, very challenging. Huh? So anyway, that's uh, kind of a cheery note to uh, think about first thing Saturday morning. Here's a better one. Uh, if you're near an Aldi, Larry, go down the imported Christmas goodie aisle. You will find fruit waffles, the super amazingly delicious cookie from the Netherlands, and then two or three kinds of cookies you will love, chocolate dip, shortbread, and such like. Go knock yourself out at Aldi. Kevin, next time you're in Green Bay, roll through Aldi. Over to you. I never get to say good morning, Kevin. Jones, KZ9 KMA. This is KA9 uh, ARZ now uh, mobile. Uh, this is uh, first Bruce joke uh, Saturday in uh, December. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, the temperature hovering around the uh, freezing mark with, uh, yeah, some rooftops a little bit uh, frosty there. And, uh, yeah, some remnants of uh, snow still uh, hanging around driving along. Uh, Bayshore uh, Drive, you know, once past the uh, Sunset Park, uh, notice there's kind of like a uh, thin layer of uh, ice uh, forming there, definitely uh, um, the early uh, stages of the uh, winter uh, freeze-up there, so uh, to make a quick uh, drive by to the uh, stone quarry, kind of doubt a little uh, fishing there, looks like it had an offshore uh, wind, and uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, it looks like we might get a little bit more of uh, winter weather later on uh, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, glad. Yeah, this weekend I won't be uh, out and about uh, driving. Yeah, because I've had to uh, Sunday doing, uh, you know, in the hundreds of miles of uh, driving, but uh, be uh, hanging around the area today there. So, uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, um, I'll be able to watch a uh, football uh, victory by the local uh, NFL franchise and, uh, Besides the uh, expectation of a celebrity there, and hopefully another local uh, celebrity there with uh, Rick on the Sunda drum line. So speaking of celebrities, over to KC9 Ellen Zulu. This is KA9 ARZ Mobile. Good morning, all.
fun fellow, and um, we're joking all the time, and um, uh, I can't wait to get over there and spend some time with him again. I'm sad to see them uh, heading back to, uh, to Germany at this time. But needless to say, they're very proud of their son and uh, both sons. Uh, the other one is a college professor at the University of Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And uh, he's married to a doctor, and they have two uh, children, two girls, uh, over there in uh, the Netherlands. So uh, they've done uh, pretty well for themselves. And as far as Kevin goes, I, I, I know they've contacted me. They want me to be part of the uh, Tundra drum, drum line. However, I just can't stand signing all the autographs. So I, I passed on it this year to be an extra star, local star at the game. And Tom, I was wondering if that was that Black Bean Morning Star suit that Jadone had talked about. And today I noticed on my schedule for mail arrivals, I will be getting my new COVID test kit. And I'm going to turn it back to back to Bruce before I timed out. Uh, he's getting very close. Thank you, Bruce. Thanks for the joke. Thanks for the net. It was interesting to hear uh, just, uh, that whole story. Uh, okay, we'll open it up for, rest, for the rest of the comments. Any comments, please call W9.
away from home in, in, in the middle of 1939 before the war had actually started. He didn't come home again till the end of 1946. I saw him twice in that time. So, I, I was nine when he came home. So I did all of my father in my childhood. So, just to give us some other aspects and fighting and bombing and other things. <laughs> I want to just say, which is other people at this time. You want me to Thank you, Kevin. Um, I'll be looking forward to it. 